AAA reminding drivers to be careful on the road with most students in our area headed back to school next week. That's right. So Aaron Farrar joins us live this morning. So Aaron, the group is asking drivers to budget more time for their commutes with school buses back on the road. The last thing you want to do is be rushing. That's true. According to a recent AAA survey, about 19% of Florida drivers said they have passed a school bus while its red lights were flashing and the stop arm was extended. So that's why we're reminding you this morning, you must stop for the bus. If you're on a two lane road just like this, cars in both directions must come to a stop. And if you are on a multi lane road without a median, cars in both directions must stop as well. The rule is different on a divided highway, though. If you're on a driving on the same side of the road just as the bus, you must stop. But drivers going in the opposite direction don't have to stop. But they are urged to drive with some caution and keep a close eye out for kids in that area. You also need to, show, to slow down and drive carefully through school zones. The AAA survey found more than half of Floridians drive through a school zone on their daily commute. So remember, when driving through a school zone, you must follow the posted speed limit, which is usually about 15 miles an hour. Most zones have a flashing yellow light reminding you to slow down. AAA is also reminding parents to talk to your kids, especially if they plan to walk or bike to school this school year. Always wear bright, reflective clothing to make yourself visible to drivers. Also, don't wear headphones while crossing the street. And if you're on a, a bike, make sure to wear a helmet for safety. If your child plans to ride on the school bus, always get to your bus stop at least five minutes before that bus is scheduled to arrive. Stay at least five steps away from the curb. And when the bus does show up, wait until it comes to a complete stop before getting on board. Stick with us on News for Jax, because of course next week, We'll have all of our back to school coverage. We'll watch that students in Duval and St. John's County head back to class on Monday. And that's followed by Clay on Tuesday.